and my man Thank hey guys man. welcome back to love lies and lace friends where we do reactions reviews and commentary and my man. guys we are looking at a youtuber's video today her name is gina janine and this is a video where she is talking a little bit about being a former side chick okay um you know she had a series once upon a time called hotels and um this might be another segment of hotels now hotels girl at least the couple that i've seen this is very mild compared to um actually that series but yeah this is her talking about being a side chick what it entails and everything so let's get into it and then we'll talk about it at the end and if she had other side pieces would you care I was a side piece at one point at this time in my life I would not Okay, I'm going to give Gina some credit for making this admission right now just because most people wouldn't even admit to having been a side piece, much less, I guess, even having the thoughts revolving around continuing it. Um, but yeah, girl, um, be proud. Um, knowingly, it's my Nigerian prince FaceTiming me. My first reaction was, is this another side piece situation? But she said she wouldn't do that right now. Hi, Bo. Can you hear me? Thank you. Or barely. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Your man is her man. It's my man, too. I'm just going to say this. Gina cannot possibly mind being talked about because she don't seem like she cares. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, the podcast before we got interrupted. I said, oh, I have only dated a, a married man knowingly one time in my life. I was about to say twice. Oh. Now, I just watched an episode of Hotels, one of her story times when she talked about hoish things she'd done. And she talked about a time when she was kind of lusting after and almost cheated with a friend's husband that she used to date once upon a time. So I don't know if that guy is included in that or what. You, I mean, girl. Excuse me. The second time. Oh, excuse me, Lord. The second time, it was unknowingly in the beginning, and then it wound up coming out, and it's like, yeah, oh, I'm already in, and he's doing all this for me. The first time that I knew it, knowingly, child, when I tell you I was a kid, I wasn't a kid. I was a grown adult, but I was 20. Some of her side chicking sounds like it was more on a gold digger side like he's doing stuff for me he's paying for my lifestyle he's paying bills he's he's doing things for me i don't really hear her mention how much she really loved the guy or he was super sexy and this that and the third and maybe that goes without saying i don't know but it just seemed more of like sugar daddy versus um that's my man who happens to be married. I mean, if there's such a thing. Um, you guys tell me down in the comments. One? It's like 21 or 22. Baby, just stupid. It was short-lived. It was just real a, a mistake. Like, I got nothing out of it. It was just like, why? I look back on that situation I'm like, why did you do? Why? The second time, like I said, I was already in, found out. He was like, we're separated, going through divorce, and they actually did divorce. Um, yeah, but I was getting so much out of that, and I didn't want to be in a relationship. I was newly single at the time. I was like, okay, he's married, well, separated, um, even though they were still living together. But they are like, they they are fully divorced. Like he wasn't lying about, oh, we're being we're, we're separated and this and that. No, they like actually moved apart well, the whole, while we were still fucking with each other. Moved into different places. He gave her the house. He got his apartment and all that. But anyways, the way I justified that was because he was paying for my entire life. I didn't have to pay for anything. 
Look, none of it's right um, because you shouldn't date a married man. A married man shouldn't be dating you. But all of that being said, um, karma, that's another thing. So it's number one and number two. Number three, um, girl, I would hate it for you that at this big age of 41, you bump your head and really fall in love and get married and find out that your man has a mistress um, or sugar baby or whatever you want to call it, um, you will be devastated. So um, especially as the wife, so stuff can come back to haunt you. Um, but that being said, um, interesting, right? Um, no way that I condone it at all, because I don't I think it's absolutely wrong. Um, but it uh, people who don't have respect for marriage, I mean, it's it's gonna it's gonna come to bite you back at a certain point. Woke up, looked at my phone. There was a cash app. Anytime, oh, I'm going out to eat with the kids. Cash app. Here's this. Oh, I'm sending you this. I'm sending you this. Oh, send me your list of the of sacks that's in your cart. What's your rent? Like my rent was paid up for an entire year in advance. Anything I wanted was paid for. Everything. Like so, I was like, yeah, you know. So, but. At this point in my life, no, that is not, no, no, no. I want a man who is completely, completely single, even though I am not looking for a relationship at all. I'm just going to say this um, again in the kind of over 40 mature sect or sector of men who are available. This, you know, Gina, Gina's living her life and she can do what she wants. You know, um, I'm giving my opinion, but I don't care enough to really judge. At the end of the day, this this lady needs to do whatever she feels comfortable doing. Um, but the bottom line is, is that a man who is um, decent and somebody who you would want to be in a relationship and you would want to wife you up, if he sees hotels and all this, all this stuff that you've had going on and knows how you have operated in the past is going to be a clear indicator of how he's going to handle you. And some of this stuff for you to meet a decent man would need to go away. But certainly I'm not telling sis how to do anything in terms of how to manage her channel and her content or any of that. But a decent man who's out here is not really going to want to wife up hotels or the expression turn a hoe to a housewife so at the end of the day whatever sis is doing now and not doing um that will be a predictor of how the man is going to handle you okay if it happens it happens y'all know that's my model if it happens it happens but i'm not looking for a relationship at all so yeah even men, if, you, if you're married, separated, got a fresh baby, a baby on the way, I don't want no parts of you. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Okay? Go around yonder. Comment down below if you believe that. I don't know. I'm going to say I think Gina has flexible rules, and I don't know if I really believe that. You comment down below and let me know what you think. The next Susie, Betty, Becky probably will. I'm, I'm good on that. So, yeah, I don't I don't want no type of drama, no karma, no nothing. OK, so and child, it was so crazy. The, the married man who I was talking to, the one who paid for my entire life. <laughs> Let me pay for my entire life. But he did for like a year and a half. He paid for my entire life. Uh, It was so crazy. Like me and him would talk on the phone all day long from the time. We Look, I'm just going to say this one last time. There's nothing to be ashamed of. If you do whatever you do and you're not ashamed, no problem. But at the end of the day, you can't expect people to not hold you accountable or make judgments based on your past decisions. If you're good with it, you're good with it. But you have no control over your karma. Whatever you put out, it may or may not come back to you in whatever way it may or may not come back as. And that's it and that's all. So... Um, those are just things that we have to think about when our footprint is out here on fuck shit that we've done at any point in our lives, right? Because anything can come back. I woke up the entire day, we'd just be on the phone. And it would be so crazy, like, he would just be laying on the couch. 
because that's where he slept. He didn't sleep in the bed with her. At least that's what he told me. He would be on the couch. We'd talk every night, and he would just be on in his blanket on the couch till like 2 a.m. But anyway, she would be, they'd be like in the living room watching a movie together. He'd be on one couch, she'd be on the other. We'd be on FaceTime. It would be like the weirdest shit. I'm like, she, what? Like, this is so weird. This is so weird. And then he would like turn the camera around and be like, look at her. I'm just so annoyed and disgusted with her. And like, why is she? Let me tell you something. You cannot trust a disrespectful ass, bitch assness man. A man who's with the bitch assness, a man who would be dis not only disrespect his wife by basically talking behind her back in her face in her house, but be on the phone with his mistress and down talking his wife to another woman and a woman who would sit and listen to that. Girl, I hope that money was good, but yeah, it, it really doesn't matter if you would consider doing that now or never. At the end of the day, sis, that that was some damn trashy ass behavior. And you should hope and pray that that would never happen to you. But yeah, um, that's 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 some real real talk right there. Chow. Chow. Anyway, weird times, yeah, weird times. <laughs> but yeah, these earrings I got from uh, I'm about to say Fashion Nova Forever Twenty One. Y'all, I'm not even gonna ask the question. Um, but she asked the question, "Would you be a side piece?" She said, "At this point in her life, I think she's over forty. At this point, she's like forty one years old. Um, would she be a side piece?" I guess the answer is no. I mean, at that age, um, I would be only looking for commitment. But um, also, if it's not commitment, what you're looking for, then just enjoy being single, right? Um, because there are advantages to everything out here, right? Um, I think it's just knowing that you are making a choice. So, hey, lit girl, have fun. It seems like Gina is enjoying her life. She does a lot of solo travel. She's already a mom. She's got three kids. I mean, she has everything. Uh, she has a career. She has her own money. She seems to enjoy her life. She's got a group of girlfriends. She has men she dates. So really at this point, you know, a husband may or may not be necessary. And if you do want one, I would imagine it would be the right type of situation. So again, it's all about options, right? You guys comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.